So what's up YouTube, this is Max from M0 Productions, and today uh, I've got a uh, Micro Brick Battle Tactics episode for you, uh, so let's get into it. Alright, so to start off, I would say as a general rule of thumb, I would keep two light tanks uh, with one medium tank. Now if something really bad happens, of course you can always scrap this idea. Uh, but I guess throughout the game, just to kind of provide, uh, get, have the light tanks provide protection for the medium tank, and have the medium tank provides a uh, source of protection for the light tanks, is uh, definitely something you want to remember and always have kind of at the front of your mind. So uh, one of these ways we can have this play out um, is kind of in a joint operations thing where you have kind of these two groups. Um, you could send in all the light tanks in one, uh, turn and then the next turn your opponent might try to move out some of their tanks to try and um, maybe spot these other tanks or try and take them out um, which would then uh, give you the advantage uh, even if yours were taken out some of your tanks were taken out you still have the crossfire here with these light tanks um, to provide uh, spotters and then you still have these medium tanks so they can take out whatever tanks came out um, and even if they can't directly attack them they can still act as spotters for artillery in the back or SPGs. Now this would maybe never happen in a game of micro brick battle um, but I'm just gonna say it um, because it might there's always a possibility so you could move one of your light tanks forward um, as kind of an attraction and then you'd have to your opponent would have to in some way move out from behind their defensive position to try and take out um, that light tank and then if there was you know, some form of cover here he wouldn't be able to attack these and then in the next turn they would definitely be able to move out and then take out that light tank uh, and you know if this light tank isn't taken out then you'd also be able to have that extra firepower to then retaliate on this light tank here or maybe medium tank. Now this could work uh, kind of both ways. You could move in the medium tank to kind of clear out um, any like light artillery and then uh, in the next turn move in the light tanks to act as spotters against um, maybe uh, medium tanks or heavy tanks and then have the medium tank here take care of other light tanks um, or it could work the other way um, where you send in the light tanks first to act as spotters and then have the medium tank come in to take care of the artillery and light tanks then so another factor um, that is really important is to look uh, and see how each um, tank functions kind of separately and it's different uses um, I guess even if it's just your playing style uh, and then kind of see how they would best function together using those individual um, styles and uh, tactics and um, strengths and weaknesses and along with that different countries may have different styles and I guess uh, gradings of light tanks, um, light tanks and medium tanks, so you definitely want to look into that before any new game, um, just to how to best use those strengths and weaknesses um, together, just depending on how uh, light or uh, heavy they are. So that's all I've got for you today, uh, hopefully next week I can have the uh, next episode of the Micro Brick Battle Tournament, so I will see you then.